Hello you guys and welcome by the Orchid Saga. My name is Jokion Biersma and before I forget I'm a grower from the Netherlands. I forget to include that uh, quite often, I apologize. But um, yeah, this is a sort of new series, sort of. Uh, before I did my uh, greenhouse updates, but I found them a little bit uh, confusing because I also have a orchid room, I know, in the orchid room. So I thought, well, let's uh, call it blooms, bots and such. So basically we are focusing on some blooms, some bugs and things that uh, will uh, come around while we uh, are having a visit at the greenhouse and the orchid room. So uh, that's, uh, that's why I changed the, the title. Um, so let's start this uh, first tour of this new uh, sort of new series with my face out of the way. So I'm going to turn the camera and I need to flip this around like that. And here we go. I'm sorry if I make you guys dizzy. My hand is at the place where it should be. There we go. We start with this uh, beautiful um, Zyko. And I, uh, before I forget, I still will do my uh, uh, blooming updates for the month of. That's not going to change. But um, my Zygos, and I have a new one here. This is a gift. The other half of this plant is uh, here as well. We will uh, see that in a minute. But this is a, oh, the pronoun pronunciation. The, the Dendrochylum, I think. Dendrochylum magnum. So that's uh, a uh, birthday gift as well. I'm really happy with it. I did get this from my niece and also a very, uh, she's also a very good friend. A very, very good friend of for years. So that's uh, beautiful. And uh, she found this orchid and uh, we both liked it uh, very much. And she said, well, uh, I'm going to uh, Enjoy the blooms, and when it's finished blooming, I'm going to give it to you so you can divide it. And I will uh, would like to have one piece back. So that's uh, that will come uh, very soon. And this is uh, so nice. We have a bit of a shadow here in inside of the sheet, and I always loved it because it looks so promising. And yes, that's a flower spike to come. So that's something uh, that we will enjoy uh, fairly no, not fairly soon, but in uh, in a few weeks, I guess. Let me see. I have. A new bee there that will have his uh, close up um, in the blooming uh, update as well. My Pega Root Carpenter. One spike is going over, one is still in full bloom, but do you see the three in the back there? So I have five spikes this year. Then we have this beauty, which has a quite a long name, but this um, the beauty of it is this not only the blooms, but uh, I have two. Uh, Orchids that have my, have my favorite fragrance, and this is one of them. This one um, smells like uh, anise. I hope I pronounce it uh, right. Uh, we say anise in the Netherlands, but I think you pronounce it in English as anise. Really strange. I never thought I would uh, uh, sense such a fragrance on a, on a orchid bloom, but yes, this one does. And um, for those who are curious, I will put a name in uh, in the screen so you can uh, can have a look at it if you want to try it. Not only the blooms, like I said, but the fragrance is fantastic. My uh, American Beauty, my Slipper Orchid that I recently did a repot on. I'm not sure. No, I don't think it's on the channel already. That's to come. But I don't want to do an overload on on poddings and up poddings and etc. So this uh, video will be first on the channel. But the up um, will come. And we still have some blooms here. This spike is from earlier this year. And now, only just recently, it started to eat in this spike up. At least uh, the branch, as you can see. Maybe because it's also working on a new growth on this bulb. So that was something that I noticed yesterday. And here is my, are my project odontoglossums. If I don't forget, I will put a link in. I'm trying something new to see if it works differently. And this is so promising because this one has a beautiful spike here. But I'm lucky enough to have another one. Two spikes on this beauty and I, I, it's a no idea for, uh, for me. But it reminds me of, um, well actually of this one. This one is working on this uh, bulb, but it's the Quin Quinlanburg. Odontio Quinlanburg. Miss Orchid Girl has this one as well. I never had it in Reblom, but that one had an amazingly long spike. 
So I'm not sure, but I bought it uh, without flowers, so that would be a first bl uh, bloomer. But this one I bought in flower, same sort of flowers, but I'm not completely sure if it is exactly the same. But this one had a very, uh, yeah, at least one very, very long spike that I did break off when, while I'm trying to uh, transfer it here to my uh, greenhouse. But I remembered uh, that the blooms still look in my memory quite similar and those spikes, so I'm not sure, maybe I have a double, but it's a beauty, so it doesn't mind it. And these colors are so beautiful. It starts fairly red and then it turns in this, this pink, uh, within one, two days, very shortly ever after it, uh, it opens up. So that's, uh, that's nice. This is my uh, Sturbeck, Sturbeck, I'm sorry. And it's blooming f from uh, uh, February at least this year, and it's already working on spike number six. This, was, this one was almost constantly in bloom. These just did get over, but uh, yeah. So if you like the colors, nice red with yellow blooms, and you like a fairly big argot with uh, that's a light bloom, this is one uh, you should have. It's absolutely amazing to have because of the amount of spikes it will uh, will give you this is the other then and the other part of the dendrochli then uh dendrochli oh my god <laughs> i'm sorry guys oh i need to practice dendrochylum there we go then i think it's dendrochylum magnum well it's it's a, a right tag but i uh, i think uh, the pronunciation is uh, is going as that <laughs> And then we have an OID here that's working on a spike. I call this my white sturbic. It reminds me of the sturbic we just saw, the beautiful bloomer. But uh, this has a white with red flowers. And the shape are, are very uh, similar. My nearly eyelash are now going over. But still we have some blooms. And this one, uh, the orange one, has a more sweet, a little bit more sweet hint to the fragrance. I really enjoy this fragrance as well. Both of the fragrance, but I uh, like the sweet hint at the end of the fragrance of that one. And they almost bloomed uh, symmetric. Now this is one is uh, turning uh, arching, uh, arching over, but uh, in the beginning those had both two spikes going up and two uh, arching over from the pot. So very uh, symmetric, funny enough. And this part of the plant is really hanging over the pot, as you can see, the new growth tries to uh, stabilize itself again and growing upright. I will probably will uh, take this off, make a division out of it, or I will try to turn it back because it's quite flexible. I'm not sure yet, but I can do that uh, probably today or tomorrow because it's now finished blooming and I didn't want to mess with it. But now the, before it turns completely like this, the new growth, I uh, need to uh, put it right back up so it can uh, adjust again towards the light before it's too late because it's when it's too big it will not adjust anymore and a little update on my oh come on come on brain i know it i know it i have a tag i'm sorry uh mystic no irish mist that it is Ando odontia irish mist i did a video on it because it's such a climber and uh, that was it. I didn't uh, change anything. I was asking for su some suggestions. I did get them. But then I saw that the roots turned to be uh, fairly long. And apparently I do have enough uh, humility to let them grow. Only this one doesn't grow at the, at the moment. But as you can see, these do. And some of them are going inside of the pot already. So I will uh, keep it like this. It's a strange plant. But these bulbs are very close together. So it, it did had a climb here and then it stopped climbing. So probably when this is mature I may cut the back bulbs off and put it uh, back again in the pot. To get it, uh, yeah it doesn't look very nice but I think it's going to work. So a little overview of the uh, orchid room. Beautiful I think. I have a lot of, of them on the floor in, in front of that fan. I try to keep the air moving even though it's a little bit colder and now we go into the greenhouse but uh, the air movement oh i need to get this out of the way 
the middle. These little steps. There we go, I'm sorry. And it's watering days for the Vendas. And I'm so happy that I have them back in glass faces. It's, it's, yeah, it really does look so much better. I can really feed them very well like I did before. But I'm happy that I uh, did try the terracotta pots. And now I just know. I need to deal with the algae. It will be here again and I will figure something out. Hopefully. But uh, yeah, this one is uh, in a bad shape. So that's why the wires are here. So I try to hydrate every root on top but I think it's doing better it's also working on a new leaf there and I think these leaves are getting more hydrated these guys probably will fall off someday I, I hope they will stay but you never know but I think uh, but that one is my blue happy and uh, blue magic and it's incredibly beautiful uh, blooms if you ask me so I really want to keep it but yeah, I think it's coming back to me. And this one has a few blooms, but then it, the spike stopped because it wasn't uh, wasn't doing very well. But still have the keikis, so yeah. Overall, um, I think we are on the, the right track again. And let me have a look. I have a catacetum still that's going over. I'm dealing with aphids. And those are not hard to uh, to kill. I know you can do it with you can squeeze them, and they will uh, be uh, quite uh, easily to remove from the plants. But they are keep coming back. So I have somewhere a few parents <laughs> that that do good to get a lot of children. Uh, apparently, it's incredibly annoying. I must admit. But and uh, my dendrobiums, my. Uh, Dendrobium phenolopsis are suffering the most. We will uh, have a quick look at them soon. Some blooms. We will do some closer up soon. The blooming update. My Vinosa. That was uh, in a care collab, care collab not long ago. And I need to show it one more time. I probably I do will do <laughs> show it off more often than one more, not one more time. But yeah, it's so so beautiful. And they're really, really starting to spike. I have it uh, at night around 18 degrees, and during the day it's somewhere between 20 and 25. And yes, Phenoliopsis do absolutely like it. I have a lot of branching going on that I never had before. But like this one, this is an incredibly long spike with, uh, with branches. Those branches start uh, making uh, buds again. Sadly, I did break this off while I was watering. It's it's very uh, inconvenient these days to water them, but uh, and like this yellow one, it's in almost insane. You can see it goes all the way back there, and this is what I learned from Rick Rick Els to check the leaves. They are very hard. Let me uh, get the camera close so you can probably hear it. I hope you can hear that. That's the sound of very sturdy leaves, and that is how they should be. It's not uh, that all on my orchids uh, and uh, Phenoliopsis are that sturdy, but you can see how they move. If I if I would do this, I will break it, so I don't do that. I know that this one is a little bit dehydrated, so you can see I can move it a bit more. But it's coming back, I think. I, for a few days I thought I would lose it, but I think it's coming back. But I have no idea what happened there. But anyhow, yeah, I should do a video on them and talk a bit, a little bit more about them because I have a second a double spikes for the first time. And you can see like this one, such a beautiful, strong spike. Look at that, so beautiful. That one in the back there with all those roots. It has currently four, five six seven eight spikes and all those spikes are starting to branch so that would be a show this is the newest one the one sticking up and i had three of them growing in my care and the rest was still on there but they did keep uh, being on there so those are all those spikes but still alive and still working and let me try to zoom in on those guys so you can see that they start to branch beautiful right uh, let me see. You can see this one is branching as well. Smallest one of the smallest ones. So yeah, that's that's a beauty. 
absolute beauty. That is probably the one who is doing the best blooming wise. It's not that they all have, uh, one, what did I say, seven spikes, six, seven, one, two, three, four, eight, even eight. Can't believe it. And as, as this one, you can see beautiful secondary spike and branches, blooms, yeah. So yeah, I, uh, it really works. The fertilizer and especially, uh, that's my heater going on, it's a bit dull day, so it's a bit colder. But uh, the calcium magnesium, I uh, use the brand of BioBiz. And for me, it's really, really working. They take it up so easily, that, that calcium. So if you ask me for a brand in Europe to find, BioBiz, Calmac, absolutely, I, I love it. And it looks like uh, my plants do love it too. Um, this is my uh, Spring Eclipse, the one that uh, Roger bought fairly recently. And I did say, well, but he was talking about he had no idea how uh, big it could get. Well, you can see this one is incredibly. This is the biggest uh, Dendrobium family opposite that I have. Next to it is a more normal size, the uh, Thailand's Black. And I apologize for the light. Like I said, it's a bit of a dull day today. But this one is starting to spike. But the aphids, you can see, I, aphids, I uh, really try to... Uh, all those black, sp black spots are old as one. But yeah, sometimes it costs me a leaf here and there. Sometimes a flower spike. But I really watch this one. Because this, this one can be such a showstopper when it uh, blooms. Especially with so much energy stored there. I uh, really... Uh, a spect uh, quite a spectacle uh, blooming so yeah those aphids need to uh, do something else <laughs> a few blooms here once again you can see really uh, really annoying blooms that uh, buds that do not open blooms that open but rather didn't maybe I don't see aphids on them now but once again you can see here black spots just above my thumb, that's in, uh, an old one. That one is not doing any harm anymore, and spikes are going over way too quick than normally. But yeah, they are still there, the plants. And we have some blooms to come here, some twinkles. Pretty soon we will have a uh, care collab on, uh, on these guys, and my yellow one had never ever done so so wonderfully well a lot of spikes but I will uh, go into details uh, I will keep them for the uh, care collab but you can see hey, a lot of spiking going on even one in bloom already so yeah and uh, over in this corner uh, it uh, did pop in mine as you could hear <laughs> these ones are also having aphids on the new growths but uh, as you can see they are getting uh, growing out of the pot. I'm working on a sort of kind of project to get uh, very uh, large uh, uh, pots for them because I don't want to divide these two guys because they are so beautiful so so big I like to have some specimen plants here and as my uh, Ragnellii so I will keep them and but I at least uh, these two need a, a bigger pot so that will be uh, I have to uh, work on that uh, fairly soon. And also my spotted sunset has now, I think it will create four uh, growing directions. It had three, but now it's working on four. Well, it's also on the edge of the pot, so I need to, I don't know, maybe I will divide this one because it's fairly open in the middle. So if I had to choose, I'd really rather have a big bush than a fairly open plant in a big pot. Just a uh, and I only have three pots, so I had uh, to make some choices. So yeah, this is uh, so far, I think. Oh, w wait a minute. Just a second. A little beautiful thing that I discovered today as well is that my Lacoste... Lacoste... I thought... Sorry you guys for the interruption or uh, breaking up this video. My battery died. And actually it's kind of funny because uh, it's now the next day and you can see probably the differences now in light we have uh, today it's a bit uh, quite a bit sunny sunshine a nice sunny day as you can see on the uh, shadows there I think so yeah that makes a whole lot of difference
But I was uh, talking about the uh, Lacoste, my first one. And as you can see, it's currently in bloom. It has still two uh, blooms left. Two spikes and it had the first spike is now going over. This is uh, the one that I bought by Landsbergen, the open house. And I did uh, look it up a little bit, the care. And uh, also uh, Michael McCarthy uh, said that it's very similar to the Catacidium, uh, Catacidiae. And indeed, that's, that's what, uh, what I can also found on the internet as well. So I thought I might want to wait this winter before repotting. But I think we have a new growth starting there already. So I don't know if this is normal, if it keeps growing in the winter. I, I can't remember. But anyhow, it doesn't matter that much because if this wants to make that new growth, as it looks, <laughs> I can now repot this fairly soon still in its original potting media but I want to uh, grow this in self watering as well so that's uh, fairly nice I think um, because that's the last one while I'm filming uh, of that uh, that haul 13, uh, 14 plants and um, that I uh, had to uh, repot etc oh yeah and here we have some catlayas it's starting to bloom. This is first time bloomer, and this is the first rebloom. It has two spikes, one here and one there, two uh, growing directions. So that's beautiful. But I couldn't get it to grow. But it looks like uh, we uh, are going to manage it <laughs> this year. So uh, that's nice. Let me have a quick look around. Uh, if I have any more news, well, the this is the golden peacock. It's working on a new growth. So. They slow down a little bit, most of my orchids in the winter, but not much. I keep it around 18 degrees, like I talked uh, or discussed quite oftenly in my videos, because uh, a lot of people want to know that. But it, uh, yeah, it, it is around 18 degrees uh, in at night. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, that was uh, what I tried to talk about: is that they my orchids slow, uh, do slow it uh, down a little bit, growing wise, but they don't stop. As you can see, we have a new growth here, this new growth is here, this one is maturing, so this one just started a new growth. Now we can see it. There, that's my Cattleya Violacea Alba. So it's a very nice one. I can only get it as a seedling. At least, uh, yeah, you never know, of course, but it's very hard to get, that's basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So yeah, that is it for now, and that leaf is going over, these are the cattleyas that are uh, recently been uh, repotted, so they, uh, they take uh, a little bit of time, beautiful aerial roots here on my uh, Vendacious type, that's the Vietnamica, Christodontiana, and it, makes, it even makes more ro aerial roots as you can see. So a lot of roots going on in that one, so that's nice, I keep it in a pot and I will uh, water the area roots sometimes. But uh, yeah, this is it for uh, for this uh, first bloom, batch and such update. And uh, I really like this type of videos uh, with other growers as well, where you have a look around in the, in the greenhouses, etc. So I hope you like it too. And uh, for now, thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.